Hey, Ross, well, my money makes money. You want a 700, 720 credit card score. That's what you want, right? Now, we all know that the 720 is that kind of like median number that actually gets you into those loans that someone with 800 and sometimes even 850 have. But how do you get there? So you've been listening to Ross World, and there's many entities and many tools and, and references all over the internet, whether it be Facebook, uh, YouTube, or just, you know, Wikipedia. There's so many things out there to help you, but I'm not a spokesperson. Here's my disclosure. I don't work for them. I don't get paid for them. Operation Hope. Now, I'm going to butcher this guy's name. I just know his name is Bryant inside of him. He was the American banker, the American innovator banker of the year last year, 2016. You can actually just Google Operation Hope. Their mission is to help those that who have low income, who doesn't make that much money with low credit card scores, okay? Low credit card scores. They're going to help you raise your score absolutely free, from my knowledge, absolutely free to raise it to 700. Now, some of you are like, man, I've never had a 700. This is a great thing. Now, you know me. I'll help. I give you the information. But these guys are going to walk you through it. They're going to help you. They're actually going to, they're actually going to be the mediator. They're actually going to be the person that's working on your behalf to go to the credit card companies, through the bureaus, through those delinquent people and challenge them of these accounts that either you had or that you didn't have. And this is the thing. This is a quick note. FCRA 611, Fair Credit and Reporting Act 611. Now, Operation Hope is similar to the things when I give out those credit dispute letters. They're doing basically the same thing because under FCRA 611, the credit card bureaus have to request a signed contract from that entity, that broker, that loaner, the person who, who give you that line of credit or loan. They have to send the credit card agencies a signed contract, hard paper, or maybe a PDF, right, of, use of your signed name that this is your actual account. Now, granted, most things are supposed to fall off your credit after seven years, but this is the loophole they get you in. Say, for instance, you have AT&T cell phone company. You ran into a rough time. You couldn't pay it. They shut it off. You still didn't pay it. Your account went delinquent, and then it went into a collections. But before it went into collections of AT&T, because a lot of these companies have collections within their company, but it's still within their company, you go delinquent. And if you didn't pay it off, then it goes to their collections, and then they're like, this person's not going to pay they sell it to a, collect, a collection agency for a bottom pit price. So when that collection agency calls you up, they're like, hey, this is an attempt for a collection, blah, blah, blah. How do I know that lingo? It happened to me quite some time ago. It hasn't happened in at least a, de a decade. But anyway, I was there. I know how you feel. Been there, done that. So they're trying to get this money from you. But this is the thing. How long has it been? Has it been seven years? Has it been four years? Have it been five years? Do not, I repeat, do not pay collections. Do not pay them. Have them, as you send these letters in, whether it be from Operation Hope or from me, those credit dispute letters, to dispute, to say, okay, well, if you have my account, you bought it from AT&T, Show me a signed contract of my name on that piece of paper. Because you know when you got the phone or you got the account, you went inside the store and you, you signed some paperwork? Okay, they're supposed to produce that since you have my account. Nine times out of ten, <laughs> they don't have it. They don't have it. So the credit agencies, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, have to delete those accounts. I remember when I had a 530. I sure do. And then when I dispute like four or five accounts, my score went up almost 200 points. I know at the end of the day, I had over 720. At the end of what, 60 to 90 days, keeping it real, 60 to 90 days, I have a set, I had over 720. Because this is the thing. Now, granted, out of all the accounts that I had on my credit, one of them wasn't mine. Okay, one of them wasn't mine, but the rest of them, and I hate to say this, it's kind of a loophole in the system, but nevertheless, 
it is what it is. You know you had that account. You know you didn't pay that account because some of you feel like it was a personal attack. Oh, I, I told them to do this and they didn't do it. And so, da, 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 and, but you were still using the phone or you were still using the services or you were still doing something. Now, some of us, a small percentage actually was done wrong. Most of us just was stubborn saying, I ain't going to pay them even though that you know you owe them. But here's the kicker. You can actually dispute those things and they can take them off now because they should have been taken off after seven years or rather when I went to a collection to another company, they don't have the documents. AT&T didn't send it over because maybe they destroyed it once they got rid of your account. These things that you ought to know. So look up Operation Hope. I'll have the link in the description and I'm here for you. Like I said, we are family. This is Ross World. Let's get our credit together because um, some of you probably make some bad decisions around Christmas time. Don't do it. I'm out.